<laughs> Hello, fourth hour. Today we get to continue working on your persuasive speech. So today specifically, I'm going to show you how to write your persuasive final draft. We'll more talk about it. You get more options for this one than you did for the informative speech. So we're going to talk about that today. Then you're going to get time to write that final draft. By the end of the hour, you should have your week nine handout all done. I've included plenty of time to finish it. You should be able to get that submitted by today. Tomorrow, as promised, the entire class time is a work day for you. Remember, weeks eight and nine are due tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. at the latest. Don't wait until 11.10 and send me a message asking for more time. I'm gonna have to regretfully say, new. All right, so let's show you what this looks like on your handout. So if you haven't had a chance yet to open up week nine, please do. Gonna scroll down to task three, because that's where we're at today. All right, so just like last time, you get a choice for final draft in that you can decide if you wanna write it on this template that I've provided here, or if you wanna write it on note cards or post-its, no worries, have those in the room for you on the white bookcase. And if you use that style, go ahead and take a picture of it, paste it right here, all right? Another change that happens this week is you get to decide, do I wanna write this final draft in script style or short word style? So script style is where you write it out word for word, exactly what you wanna say. Short word style is exactly what it sounds like. You just have keywords to remind you of what you're gonna say. Both are equally good from my perspective. So you decide which one will be best for you to perform it at your highest ability. No matter which one you decide, you should show your changes from the rough draft. Make that real clear. I would even circle it, but that's me. So let's talk about what this looks like. So I'm zooming ahead here. Get to the slide about final drafts. There we go. So like I said, you decide first, script or short word style. Script does have the disadvantage of the tendency to read it. So make sure next week when we practice this, if you pick script, that you're including times to pause so information can get in and that you're not just straight up reading it, that you're actually looking up and having a conversation either with the camera or with the classroom if you present it in class. Like I also said, you get to decide where you want to write it. On that template, note cards, post-its, up to you. If you want to kind of experiment with something different on this one, you absolutely can. I would strongly suggest you either in your seat, review your rough draft, rescan it, or even practice it quietly to yourself so you can see what changes you want to make on your final draft. So it shouldn't your rough draft should not, your rough draft and your final draft should not look exactly the same. That means you didn't make changes and you really should, okay? So it should be slightly different. And like I said, it would really help if you circle or highlight where your changes are in the final draft. So you folks have quite a bit of time to do this, but I included that intentionally just in case people needed a little more time to finish their rough draft first. So you lovelies have the rest of the time to either finish your rough draft and then do your final draft or just start on your final draft. As always, if you have questions, I'm here. Go for it.